months, a man died and at least eight people were injured. Adrian Britton reports. The path of the storm has swept right across the southern belt of Britain. The shingle wall at Selsey in West Sussex was no defence against seas whipped up by hurricane-force winds. Homes in Worthing suffered structural damage, roof tiles ripped off by the gales. I was looking out my bedroom window and the tiles in the house opposite started just flying through the air like bits of paper. They just came through the conservatory. Uh, almighty crash. I, I just couldn't believe it. The gales claimed their first victim in South Staffordshire. A man died, a woman was injured after a tree crashed onto their car. The storms first hit the southwest. Part of the roof of this Devon hotel was torn off, crashing down on cars parked below. Tonight, the coastlines of Devon and Cornwall continue to be pounded by high seas. North Devon has been one of the worst places to be hit by this storm. The winds have reached over 100 miles per hour. And as you can see, it is almost impossible to stand still, let alone walk in it. And this is a storm which has caused misery and inconvenience for thousands of people. Fallen power lines have cut off electricity to more than 80,000 homes in the southwest. The weather forecast tomorrow is not good, but we will have something like 1,000 people working on the emergency tomorrow. And we are hoping that providing the weather isn't too bad, we should get everybody back on supply tomorrow. In West Wales, flooding has been one of the main hazards. Yet while much of Britain has been battered by the storms, North Ayrshire in Scotland has seen the first snow of 1998, causing equal aggravation for motorists. Adrian Britton, ITN. At